Hello, I'm Jack Meehoff, and this just in on Pasusu breaking news. Although Governor Cuomo said that he will not ban trick-or-treating and that he would encourage the children to trick-or-treat at their nearest nursing homes, but even though Cuomo supports trick-or-treating, there are still plenty of others who'd rather keep their kids at home and the candy to themselves. We have our expert here to weigh in, Professor Fedora. Hello, and what do you think we should do? Once, thank you very much, Dunsil. It's great to be back again. Once, there's several reasons why you should be canceling the silly, stupid holiday that was invented by stupid pagan people. So you believe we should cancel Halloween? Once, absolutely. I mean, come on, think about it. Once, who do you think was involved on going ahead with the cancellation of Halloween altogether? Once, I've met my very own boss, Donald Trump. Once, come on, his wife said, fuck Christmas. This is breaking news indeed. Donald Trump has declared that he hates Halloween and hates the children. Once, who wants those dirty little germ bags walking around town anyways, if you think about it? I mean, always going around, going door to door, asking for candy. Those dirty, snotty little bastards walking around with their germs and their hands up their nose, just like a Scooby-Doo or a Dolly Parton, or if you're like hooker-like. Once, to think about it, really, I mean, the candy kind of makes them like assholes to begin with. Yes, candy can certainly make the little ones a little hyperactive. And let's not forget cavities and things along those lines. But what about the safety for COVID? Does that have any issue with your opinion on Halloween, Professor? Oh, oh it's, listen, the best safe way to go ahead to, um, to, to go trick-or-treating, it's not to go at all. I mean, what are you going to do? Are you going to go house to house and pretty much say, trick or COVID? Trick or COVID? No, you don't go to the person's house until you say trick or COVID because what are you going to do? You're, you're going to go ahead and you're going to douse it in bleach and then here you go, here's your, your, your Tootsie Roll. I do see your point, Professor. It can be quite this super spreader situation. Try saying that three times fast. Super spreader situation, super spreader situation, super spreader situation, super spreader situation. You didn't hear that from me because it was not put in my ear. Uh, by Donald Trump, it's because, listen, nothing can make me go ahead and sway one way or another like that wonderful Barrett person. What is some of your advice regarding this situation to the parents? Are there any do's or don'ts? Once, uh, I would go ahead and I would suggest, do what my mother did when I was a little spurling. Once I would go ahead and I would say, lock them in the basement for the day and no candy. Would you grow up to be a very wonderful, intelligent person just like me? Once if you have to go out, once because you need to go ahead and go trick a coin, once if you have to go out and do that, make sure you try to respect people's houses. Once if you want to egg them, that's fine too. But go ahead, respect them. They go get the candy and once don't put your hand in the bowl. Once have somebody hand it to you, like you know, like toss it and make sure they're wearing gloves. Very important to wear gloves. Once and considering you wouldn't have to wear masks because wouldn't you be wearing a mask already? Yes, most people will be wearing masks and some may be wearing makeup. So hopefully anyone who does dare to go trick or coveting, as you say, will take proper precautions and wear a mask. So you got to be very cautious during these holiday seasons. Once you want to know what, what I've also heard that uh, here's another thing uh, that just came out. Yes, yes. More breaking news indeed. All right. Once you go ahead, they say now, during the other holiday that comes up, what's the Thanksgiving, you know, that you're only allowed to have six people at the table. Only but you six. can have 30 people at a funeral. Which I'm going to go ahead this year, and I'm saying I'm holding a funeral for my turkey. <laughs> uh, uh, uh.